It's hard. It's hard. It's, it's, it's the hardest thing to do is to win again, uh, to win consistently. You know, I think it's just really hard to sustain over a long period of time. And so for us to have uh, nine, ten win seasons and to get back now for a fifth time, I mean, it's that's our that's our greatest accomplishment is the consistency. And that means another Clemson championship. White meat, such as the breast of a chicken or a turkey, tends to have fewer calories, so it's great if you're dieting and trying to lose weight. And it's also just as rich in iron as red meat. White meat is a much better option because it's leaner, it's better for you, less calories, and can help keep you full because of the protein. Here come the Tigers, the defending national champions. On a 49 degree night, clear skies, expecting a crowd of some 60,000 fans on end here in Charlotte. You're watching the ACC Championship on ESPN as part of Dr. Pepper Championship Week. Hopefully no more stats from Dabo. Here's Maria Taylor. All right, Coach, your team has won 27 straight games. For the fifth straight year, you find yourself in the ACC title. How would you describe the opportunity in front of them on championship Saturday? Well, that's special. I mean, these, these are special moments for both teams. You know, you work all year, play 48 quarters for the privilege to play these four. So we're just honored to be here, represent our division, and hopefully play our best game. Thanks for your time, Coach. You got it. Here's Perkins. End zone. Back to the end zone. It is caught. They're going to say he was out of the end zone. Nolan Turner. It's an interception. Nolan Turner comes up with it for Clemson. Very close to that back line. Just an overthrow here from Bryce Perkins on third and ten. He's forcing this ball in. It goes way over the intended receiver and Turner in great position, great awareness to have his feet inbounds, control that ball to the ground. So off a sudden change, puts in the offense, and it's Trevor Lawrence to Justin Ross. Game of 15 on first down. Off the play fake, and the throw, and complete. There's T. Higgins. Kind of a turning point, he has been flawless. Here's Lawrence, gonna keep it. And that's the big difference this season for Trevor Lawrence. He's got great legs, running for 20. The guys never trailed in the second half of any college game. Forget about winning them all. Never Good trailed living. the second half. Clean living, McShay. Out to T. Higgins. Down the sideline for the score. Touchdown, Clemson. Just like that. 7-7 ball game early. They're up to it. Lawrence gonna keep it on a good fake to ETN. They do get Chris Moore back from suspension. Violation of team rules. He missed the last two games. Lawrence will take a shot. Wide open is Justin Ross running away from people for the Clemson touchdown. 59 yards for the score. And the Tigers are back on top. your boy Deshaun Watson. Just want to wish you good luck, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep leading those boys. You know how we do down. The Georgia boys taking over, as we always do. Salute. Tigers all day. Clemson Tigers. All love and respect. My boy. You know, I think the big, the big thing, the difference in Trevor Lawrence I've known, noticed this year is the leadership, right? Here's Travis Etienne running right up the middle for 14. At Virginia, makes the big play there. Juggled and caught, T. Higgins. Knocked it to himself and then down the sideline. Nick Grant had the coverage, got a piece of the football, 38 yards. Lawrence to Higgins. Perkins steps through some people. And won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He's forced out with authority and players come together. Kayvon Wallace had the contact. There's some old school pushing and shoving. Bobby Haskins 
The left tackle in the middle of it for Virginia. Well, I was wondering about Kayvon Wallace and how he would play in this ball game. It's an emotional game for him from Richmond, Virginia. He wasn't recruited by the University of Virginia. And he said he will play the best 60 minutes of the season in this one. No question that there is inspiration and motivation for Kayvon Wallace. And soccer team, number one team in the country. Here's Travis Etienne, able to stay on his feet, running away from people. Cabo's frustration, yeah. and it's warranted. Here's Trevor Lawrence. On the run, throwing. See if they call that a catch. They call that a catch. He was very close to the line of scrimmage when he released the football. Guys, watch this catch from T. Higgins. I mean, six foot four, reaches all the way out. That's toe, unbelievable. Clearly on the <laughs> left toe in there, moving the sticks. Awesome. ETN, right up the gut of that Virginia defense. Still on his feet, touchdown. Travis ETN making it look easy. 26 yards for the score. You know, Clemson has a lot of talent at receiver, running back. The tight ends don't get a whole lot of credit. Luke Price here, watch him seal the end of line of scrimmage. Great vision by ETN and a missed tackle by Blunt. You give him a crease and he's going to finish. No question about it. One of the best backs in college football. Here's Perkins the throw on first and ten again. Has all sorts of time. Deep shot down the middle of the field. And it is knocked away at the last second. Dontavian Wicks was there. Isaiah Simmons had the coverage. Two players wearing orange britches back there to knock it away. Yes, and your eyes are not deceiving you. That is Isaiah Simmons back there. The outside linebacker, defensive, rush defensive end, and also a former safety. Knows how to play in the back end. Really matured and grown and played well. Second down and eight, Lawrence throwing across his body to Justin Ross. Beats one man, cross midfield. Here's Lawrence to throw. Zips it in there to DeAndre Overton, his first grab. It's a gain of 19. Bumps against the ball to start the second half, too. Lawrence back in the end zone, juggled and caught. T. Higgins, second touchdown. And they'll take another look at it, but for now it's a score and a 30 to seven lead by the Tigers. And Virginia decided to play man to man with Heskin Smith, the corner, one-on-one uh, -on -one with T. Higgins. And, and he, but you just give T. Higgins a chance and he's gonna make the play. They're trailing 14 to nothing, I'm told. So don't be sold on Clemson definitely being locked into that three spot. Let's see exactly what happens the rest of the night. Gain of seven on the play and another timeout. The loss of seven, I beg your pardon. All right, Maria, thank you. On first down and ten. Travis Etienne, right where he left off in the first half. It's the long kick return, and then it's 24 yards from scrimmage there. Here going to Micah Kaiser from Virginia two years ago. Lawrence, deep shot down the middle of the field, and T. Higgins. It stayed up in the air forever. And even with two Cavalier defenders in his face, Higgins brings it down for 54 yards. Well, Nick Grant is, uh, he's having a tough night and he's trying his best. You know, this is this is just a, a superior athlete. You don't have to make a great throw. No, that's, yeah. that's the beauty. Here's Lawrence. That's a good throw. <laughs> T. Higgins, touchdown Clemson. That's a of a handful of plays to go all the way down the field after Virginia scores. That is the third touchdown catch of the game for T. Higgins. Wow. I mean, it honestly feels like they, they're just giving ETN the ball a couple of times to make sure he's happy, but they, they can throw the ball every single snap. They can score in four or five plays every single drive. He's having a hard time breathing. Perfectly. Because of his ribs, he, got, he took a vicious shot. Yeah, Todd, remember he got hit on the last drive. Yeah, he's been in the game earlier tonight. 
two-quarterback package. Armstrong fumbled the football. 28 in a row this season. Here's Dixon. Wow, that looked easy. Lynn J. Dixon right through the heart of that Virginia defense. 23 yards for another Clemson touchdown. It's hard. Like, if you're Virginia front seven, it's hard, right? You're getting blown up. Hard to stop this offense. Here's Bryce to throw. Down the middle of the field. So had a Frank Lapson. The true freshman from Miami makes his ninth catch of the season. Beats Nick Grant for 57. You're talking about Sammy Watkins, talking about Nuke Hopkins, Sammy Watkins, and now Higgins. You got Ross, and now here's the next one. It's Frank Ladson, Joseph Nada, both true freshmen. That's the next uh, generation of Clemson receiver. Virginia got on the first team was Joe Reed. He's injured tonight and unable to go. Interception, Isaiah Simmons for Clemson. And the defense continues to play big down the stretch for the Tigers. Able to return it 22 yards back the other way. Bryce going to keep it. Chase Bryce into the end zone for the touchdown. First rushing touchdown of the season for Chase Bryce. He had four passing touchdowns. And Clemson is piling on now to the tune of 54 to 17. That's great to see Trevor Lawrence come out and yeah, celebrate with Chase Bryce as he comes off the field. I, I'm just selfishly hoping that we get to see Clemson against both those teams. Here's Will Sweeney down the sideline showing off the wheels. The junior has 30 yards, 30 receiving yards there, and to his total. Here's Malusi, down to the goal line, signal is touchdown on one side. And it is a touchdown for the Tigers. Clemson has hung a 60 spot on Virginia. 61 points is the most the Tigers have scored against any opponent all season. And you're right, Greece. This has been a, you think where Virginia's coming from, this has been a fine season. Intercepted. Picked off by Clemson. And it's Keith McGuire on the interception. 10 seconds left to play before it's championship trophy time for the Tigers of Clemson. Yeah, at the end of the day, <clears throat> what this team, what our team has done is super special. It's really hard to uh, to uh, do what they've done, you know, 13-0 and 0 and to stay focused week in and week out and just continue to get ready uh, is special. You know, the, the leadership of this team, the will to win, uh, is inspiring, really, and I'm just so thankful to have the opportunity to, to be a part of it. These, this never gets old. This is, uh, you know, what it's all about, and just a special, special time. And this team has prepared, they've trained, and they've believed all year for uh, this moment. You know, and uh, so to see it come to fruition is pretty special. And to win our fifth ACC title game in a row and make make uh, you know college football history. Is, uh, is is really cool and not something we set out to do. It's just something that's happened, you know? We've just kind of been so busy trying to just be our best day in and day out and you just all of a sudden you look up and, and we're in a situation like this. And, and uh, I'm thankful for those previous teams that, that gave us this opportunity. Um, and uh, it's, just a, it's just a blessing. These seniors won their 54th game today and uh, that's one off the college football record. Uh, so just an incredible, special group of, uh, of young people. Oh man, it's unbelievable. I mean, just, just, you know, got a group of young people that have just fought and you don't get the chance to win five in a row without those previous teams that gave us the opportunity. So I'm thankful for 
all of our teams to, to give us this chance. But these guys have been amazing all year, so resilient, and to to do something that's never been done. You know, Coach Spurrier, I hope he's watching. Coach Spurrier called me last year and said, yep, yeah, you tied the Gators. You tied the Gators. We broke the Gators tonight. So, uh, first time that's ever been done. It's just amazing, a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will get us in the Final Four and you will? get us a chance to go compete. Tonight, most valuable player for the 2019 ACC Championship, and this will probably come as no surprise to any of you. Congratulations, T. Higgins. Thank you to our fans. What an incredible, incredible, passionate group of people that we have that follow us everywhere we go. We love you. We appreciate you. Y'all are what makes Clemson special. And listen, this is, we're 13 and 0, third time in the history of our school. And uh, surely they're going to send us somewhere to play after this. We're going to enjoy this one tonight. And then we need everybody to buy some tickets and travel wherever we're going. And let's get ready for the next one. Let's be legendary. Let's go be great.